What's going on, Option Story? Uh, this is Noel and just wanted to provide the day trade idea for tomorrow by video. And this is not typical to what we do, although we change it up from time to time. Usually it's in a written form. And I thought it'd be great to come with a video and kind of show you the rationale behind why we're picking this trade. So to start with is the ticker is XLU. It's the utility sector. It's an ETF. One of the reasons I like this is the fact that there's no earnings coming up. Um, there's, this is earnings week. We got a whole bunch of earnings coming up. Baba, Apple, Facebook, Disney. I mean, gosh, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, and so this is a really great trade. It's, it's got um, high liquidity, uh, which we're always looking for that. Um, the ask bid spread is really narrow. And on top of that, kind of the, the, the sweetest part about it is the IV rank on this is super high in terms of um, you know my watch list and what I look for. So for all those reasons, we are going to be putting on this trade potentially as uh, a, a strangle. And the reason I like this is if you, if you, I mean, we're going all the way back to April, and uh, the high in April is around 68. And uh, if I look at this time period from April when we had our high, the low is sitting down here at 62. Uh, so this this stock obviously over time has just really traded sideways. There's not a lot of fluctuation um, in terms of you know high highs and lower lows. So uh, what what that allows for in terms of uh, the um, the trade uh, is is that if I come over here and I and I pull up this this strangle, we're collecting a dollar forty three credit based on those strike the strike price of 67 call and a 62 put. As long as this stock stays in that range between now and September 17th, man, we're gonna profit $1.43 per contract. Uh, so this is a really, um, well, I should say it's a safe trade because this is an undefined risk. So strangles, uh, if you've been trading for any time, you know that this is gonna be undefined. Uh, the, I mean, max loss could be that this thing goes to zero and uh, yeah, you lose your shorts on it. So. Uh, I always like to say that if you know you're not comfortable, your account size isn't at the level where you are able to sustain some uh, some uh, hairy conditions out there. Again, we're at the top of the market, so you know a pullback is probably in reason. I don't think this stock is going to do that, especially with the way that it's been trading. But nonetheless, if you're concerned about that, you can certainly turn this into an iron condor and create a defined risk. Now, you're not going to get a dollar forty-three in credit. And I haven't really played with that. I, you know, I, I probably should in terms of what kind of credit do you would you get. We're always looking at the the spread on this is at least one third the the spread. So if this if the spread on your iron condor is as a five point spread, you're at least making one third in, in credit. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to play out, but for the sake of the 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 strangle, this is a great trade, uh, reasonably protected in terms of that range. And I think it's going to stay within range between now and September 17th. So that's the gist of this. You know, to execute it, you just hit confirm and send. And here's all of our details, right? Max profit, 143. Max loss, infinite. Um, and yeah, this is because of the trading account that I'm in. It's saying illegal. But when I put on this trade, you know, again, you got to have a certain amount of buying power to be able to do so. Um, so yeah, let me know, hit me up if there's any questions, but this is going to be the trade for tomorrow and, uh, we'll keep pressing.